From prison to business owner, a Georgetown man is celebrating a decade of not just giving haircuts, but also opportunities. KVU's Darenisha Heron shows us how his clippers and his scissors saved his life. Getting a fresh cut at Papa Frank's Barbershop is about more than just looking good. It's about camaraderie. Yeah, he's a regular. He, he's in here every week. And feeling good, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Owner Nick Shanklin is celebrating the shop's 10th anniversary, a day he never thought would happen. I did about 10 calendar years in prison over probably about three, four visits. So, yeah, at one point it was just like, I got to do something better. My kids deserve better. And this is this going in and out of jail and living life like this is, you know, it's for the birds. That transition from prisoner to business owner wasn't easy, but Shanklin says for him, it was the only choice. Being a barber basically saved my life. I can say that now I've seen so many of my friends that have died and overdosed and they're in jail and prison. The 41 year old doesn't shy away from his story, but instead uses it to uplift others by starting Stretch, a youth program geared to helping troubled teens to get on track. We've been to so many middle schools and, and churches you know, to talk to youth and we I love doing it. You know, it's my chance to give back and say, hey, look, I went down these bumpy roads. You don't have to. You know, let me help you not make these bad choices that I made. The father of seven also employs other felons at his Georgetown shop because a second chance after prison is hard to come by. It's my long term goal is to eventually build my own barber and beauty school and maybe a couple other barber shops just to have just to give some people somewhere to work. It's more than just a cut. It's a lifesaver in Georgetown. Darren Heron, KV yeah. News. So how's the I love that story. Thank you, Darren Nisha.